Just start off with a, an assessment on on the weekend. Clearly, the the result and performance wasn't what you wanted. W what kind of fell off in the in the second half? Do you think? Yeah, I think obviously the results disappointing um, for us on a on a group level. It was probably more a performance. Uh, we didn't perform to our sort of normal standards, and yeah, we just fell short in the end. What can you kind of put that down to? I mean, the manager kind of talked about lots of big players kind of not having an off day in a way. Was that the case from your perspective? Yeah, I think it was. Oh, we watched something back this morning when we came in and we threw obviously a few clips of things we can, can improve on. And yeah, it was just one of the days. We just weren't, weren't as good on the ball um, and off it for the majority of the game. And obviously con conceded a few chances, which we've, we've managed to, to keep out recently. Is it time now that the squad kind of really uses its experience and know-how from what it's got to, to just put together another run of results that you've done before? Of course, yeah. There's, obviously, at this stage of the season, there's always results, but at, at times you don't play as well as you want to play, and, and sometimes it just looks a bit sort of lethargic at times, and sometimes there's no reason for it, it just happens, and I think we're, we're experienced enough to, to know that and, and get by it. Was it doubly disappointing at the weekend, having just come on the back of such a positive night against Tottenham, both in terms of performance and the result that night? Yeah, of course. It was obviously two completely different sort of type of games, if you like. Um, obviously, Tottenham set off us a lot and let's have the ball, and it was completely different against against Blackburn. But yeah, it was just a disappointing afternoon for us. I wanted to ask about a couple of your, your midfield colleagues, your two Man City loanies in, in Doyle and McAtee. Just how well have they done for the club this season, in, in your eyes, coming in and, and playing such regularly? Yeah, they've been brilliant. Um, first and foremost, obviously, really nice nice boys. and um, Obviously, Tommy's obviously had his own spell before, so at the beginning, you can see he was obviously that bit more experienced to the, to the level. And, and Mac has... Um, really upped his game from the start and he just he looks a lot stronger and quicker than when he first came. Have you guys in the squad kind of noticed James McAtee's kind of improvement as the se season's gone on? He clearly had that, that tough debut at Luton earlier on, but he just seems to have got better and better and better. Yeah, he's, he's been great. Um, I think, yeah, since the, since the first week or so since he came in, you can see a massive difference. Um, even just his, his body shape and things, he looks taller and stronger. Um, that's obviously credit to the guys here looking after him as well, but also, most importantly, self working hard. How good could both of them be, really? Do, do, do you feel that they don't even know their, their own potential yet? Yeah, well, they're obviously still young and um, they've still got things, obviously, both from want to improve on. Um, and obviously, their parent club, they've, they've got the best people around about them to do that. For you, I imagine it's been a, a really frustrating season, stop start with, with injuries. How difficult has it been not kind of being able to affect things as much as you'd have wanted to? Yeah, obviously. Quite a sore, a sore burner on the on the injury front for myself, and tried to come back when I wasn't fully fit, and obviously made that a little bit worse. So I had to get it fixed, and yeah, it's obviously injuries are part of the game, and I'm experienced enough now to, to get by them. How are you feeling now? Are you, are you feeling anywhere near to 100%? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. Obviously, the more game time I'm get, getting, and obviously getting through training uh, for the last month or so has been good. Yeah, but I'm, I'm feeling good. You've been with the club seven years now in the summer, how much would you like to stay beyond that? Yeah, I would obviously love to stay. Um, right now, that's, that's not, it's not at the, the, the front of my mind, it's obviously trying to win games and there's a lot of, a lot of boys in the, in the squad in the same sort of scenario, so I'm sure there'll be a time to speak when that, whenever that is, I'm not so sure. Have any contract discussions taken place at all yet? No, not yet, no, and to say, I, right now there's, there's no sort of rush for that, but there's just obviously more important things going on. But with so many players out of contracts in the summer, has it been something that the squad has discussed? Is that kind of level of uncertainty having any kind of impact on all of you? No, not at all. Um, as I say, there's a lot of sort of experienced guys in there who have had different contracts or situations in their careers before. So, yeah, I'm sure it'll be, it'll be a time when, when everyone starts to speak or whatever it is, but I'm sure that'll be up to the club. Have you been given any indication of, of when that might happen or is the club waiting on kind of the, the embargo and the, the ownership situation to be resolved? I'm not sure. My, my guess would be that would be probably part of the situation, I'm sure. Um, maybe depending on what league we're going to be in. I couldn't really tell you. I've not, I've not had any conversations myself, so I don't know what personally other people are doing. Because for you, it's, it's a key time in your career, isn't it? 32 
this summer. I imagine this is kind of whatever happens next, whether it's with this club or what have you. Do you feel it's a, a really important kind of summer for you in terms of what happens next in your career? Yeah, you could probably say that from from any age. Yeah, every sort of time your, your deals coming up, it's important. The next the next part's always important. But yeah, as I say, right in this moment in time, there's there's more important things than, than the players' contracts uh, to put in in our hands. But it's obviously something as an individual you want to, to get sorted whenever you can. How much would you and the players love to have another crack at the Premier League? Because you put yourselves in in a really good place, haven't you, to do so? Yeah, we have done. Um, obviously, it's been a it's been a great season so far. Um, obviously, I've got off the back of the weekend, it's not been the happiest. But if you, if you look at it overall so far, it's been a great season, and we just need to keep pushing. Is this just a sign at the minute of the kind of standards that you've set as a group that when you do have a couple of games that, that go against you, it kind of highlights where you've got to? Yeah, it does. It's, it's the same every season. Um, we've, we've all, well, majorities have been there before in this situation, and. We've always had these disappointments. Um, she's about getting over it. Thankfully, we've got another game tomorrow. Can you quite believe the journey that you've had with Sheffield United over the last six and a half, coming up to seven years? I mean, you've you've pretty much seen everything so far, haven't you, in your time here? Yes, yeah, it's, it's been a great time. Um, hopefully, a bit longer to go as well. Um, but no, it's it's been amazing. Obviously, ups and downs, um, as we've all seen. But the the highs are are certainly way better than what they always were. Has one of the, the key aspects that's made you stay so long been that you've been on this journey with several others as well? You know, Chris Basham, Billy Sharp, Jack O'Connell and others that have come kind of on board. Has that really made this a special place to be? It has, yeah. Um, again, also it helps when you've been successful at times and we've all, we've all stuck together when, when the disappointment's happening. Um, is it the players you mentioned there, experienced players as well. So people at Billy and Bash, they sort of keep the, the dressing room intact. Do you back the squad as it is right now to get the job done this year, given the experience that you've got and the fact that you've you've kind of been through this before? Yeah, it should obviously benefit us in, in some sense, but it's up to us to, to keep working hard and training and, and getting these results out. Um, I feel that there may be more disappointments still to come. We don't know, but as long as we stick together, then you would hopefully have a chance. And it's your game in hand at Reading tomorrow night. How are you kind of looking at that as, as a group? It, it seems like a, a good opportunity to try and bounce back straight away. Yeah, well, regardless of who we're playing, we've, we've got to help to try and bounce back, as always the case. They've obviously had a, a disappointing result as well, and, and they'll be looking to do the same thing. So, yeah, it should be, it should be a good game. Because they've got a, a bit chalk and cheese in terms of their form. They're, they're away from, they've lost a few home, they haven't lost in a little while. That, I suppose that shows that there's some vulnerabilities in there that you can try and exploit. Yeah, of course, it's been a bit of a mixed season for them. Um, obviously, got some very good players and, and some experience as well. Um, and an experienced manager. So, yeah, they'll be up for the game. We just, we just need to make sure we're on 100%.